morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hopefully you have a great day or night. Today uh, I'll be hitting thrift store number three in a location here in Arizona. So let's see what we do today. <laughs> So here we are at Desiree Industries in Mesa, Arizona. I'm familiar with this place. I've been to it probably six or seven times. Had some great luck in the store. It's a happening spot. Uh, the shoes there, they're priced anywhere from six to ten dollars and up, etc. I didn't really see anything that was mind blowing, but they did have a lot of shoes. Uh, but I was more focused on uh, looking for some hard goods, some electronics, some vintage stuff, some video games, etc. As I mentioned before, I've been to this place, so I wanted to make sure they had that glass counter. I remember going there. I haven't been to this store in probably a year, but uh, they, ha they have some good stuff in there. Some of it could be hit or miss, but overall, though, it's usually where they put, they think their gems are at. That's usually where they put them at. Uh, any video game systems, electronics, cameras. So let's see if we can find anything cool. Yeah, like NES in the wild with some games. Uh, where's the guy with the key? I need this cabinet opened ASAP. <laughs> 45 bucks, I'm in. That's a deal. The, uh, there's some TI calculators that are sitting there as well. The guy tipped me off and says those do not work. So uh, maybe he's bluffing me, whatever the case was. I said, well, if they don't work, you got 15 bucks a pop on them. Can we talk to a manager and see if we get a discount? Manager came by and says no discount. So I said, you know what? Leave them to somebody else. Three to four dollars for used hats. Uh, I think it's a little pricey. Uh, didn't see anything there. It was a mess of them. I kind of went through them all, but uh, didn't snag any. I, mean, I like buying the hats for a dollar to two dollars. You know, um, seems like some of these thrift shops can get. Like, I've seen hats as high as 14, 15 bucks for a used hat, which I think is crazy. So uh, yeah, let's see what else they got in the store. I am not your father. I've got to admit, this place is huge and I haven't even gotten over to the clothing. There's a lot of stuff to look at and uh, I'm just waiting for them to bring out some carts. This place is well known for bringing out carts. You'll see people throughout the whole store, kind of right where the books are at and then where the toys and DVDs, movies, all that stuff over there, all that media stuff. They'll start bringing carts over there and the craziness will begin. <laughs> Thank you. 
As I'm walking up that ramp, I see there's two carts. There's an empty cart and a cart filled. My first thought was, oh man, somebody hasn't gone through this cart and you know put the stuff on the shelves. So I started digging through it. And uh, all of a sudden about, I don't know, a minute later I hear, hey, that's my stuff. And I'm just thinking, if it's your stuff, why don't you keep it near you, right? There was somebody that was probably 30, 40 feet away. Uh, anyway, it looked like a picker reseller, which is great, it's cool. There was some cool stuff in there. There was some uh, old reel to reels I was checking out and then, uh, you know, unfortunately, it was his cart, but uh, I don't know. If I got a cart on me, I've always got it uh, pretty close to me. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Fresh cart, fresh meat. Let's swing the milbos. Cords and electronics for days. So I've got rows of this stuff here. And um, honestly, guys, I could have sat in the store for a couple hours digging through everything with a fine tooth comb. But uh, I'm kind of in a hurry when I go into reselling in the, in the thrift shops. I just want to get in and get out. Don't want to spend too much time in there. But uh, I'm sure there was some profit in this, uh, these aisles. There's no doubt about it. Ten bucks, I'm in. Ooh, that was fun. Let's go check out the clothing and see if we can find any profit. Six dollar dress shirts and calzero shirts. I think that's a little high. So I gotta really watch what I'm gonna grab here if I can find anything because uh, $6, I need something to sell for 25, 30 and up. Uh, I'm just not gonna buy a shirt for $6 and sell for 10, 12, 13, 14, $15 shipped. Just uh, not my business. Six dollars for men's dress pants, not bad. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna be digging through that whole rack unless I see some kind of crazy looking pattern or color or something new with tags. Most of the time I'll just walk right by. <laughs> Most of the winter wear there, sweatshirts and jackets were all over the board, you know, 6, 10, 12, 14. Harley Davidson, uh, lightweight windbreaker, zip up, four bucks, I'm in. T-shirts, three dollars, I think that's a little uh, high. Um, it's reasonable, but it's, I think it's high. I think T-shirts should be a dollar to two dollars at the thrift shop, period, across the board, you know. Um, you know, I would say at $3 price point, I got to find something that's pretty epically cool. And more than likely, it's going to be something truly vintage. They have a lot of t-shirts there. So uh, I kind of just got tired of looking at some of the shirts. And kind of at that point, I really wanted to get out of the store. Walking out of Desiree Industries with some goodies. A last minute find here, which I'll show you guys a little later in the video. This place is packed. Cars all around. Freaking, it's like Walmart here. Whoa, don't hit me. 
<laughs> this guy's trying to hit me. Look at them all. Cars for days. Let's dive into what I picked up. $63 later. 10 bucks for the Sony. CDP stash CX355 Mega 300 CD storage. We'll test up this bad boy and uh, see if we get it working and we'll get it sold. All right, here's that Harley Davidson windbreaker for four bucks. I paid for it. Pretty nice. It's thin. Got the hood and everything on it. Grab these Superman 33. Pretty cool. Star Wars. Had this as a kid. Got a little of the Star Wars stuff. The book and record. Story music and photos from the original motion picture. So we'll test those, see if they play okay. Uh, R2-D2, Star Wars Episode One, Puzz 3D. Let's see if it still sounds up to music. I love you too, R2, especially for $2. That was a nice find. Actually, I, that came out of the cart. When they wheeled it out, I snagged it up really quick. Hey, I got some batteries with it too. And here was the uh, NES system, 45 bucks, two controllers, power cord, zapper, got some kind of Nintendo cleaner kit, Tyson's Punch-Out, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, uh, Super Off-Road, Tennis, uh, Base Wars, and Kirby's Adventure. $45, which, uh, you know, it is what it is. Gonna make some money off it, though. Uh, not sure if I'll bundle it up with a couple games. We'll see. I gotta price it out, see what's going on and all that. But that's what I picked up today, guys. As always, it'll go on the board, and we'll list it. We'll get it sold and see what we get. It's time for the reseller rating. Desiree Industries in Mesa, Arizona. I give it a 9 out of 10. I really like the store. Uh, again, I said I've been in the store before. Today was not a letdown. I could have spent literally, guys, hours in there and uh, waited for carts to roll out, digging through things. There's a lot of treasures in this place, and um, they have a lot of turnover. Even though it, this place is busy, it's slammed. And um, just a lot of stuff to look through. I'm pretty sure if I spent some more time in the clothing, I could, I could have probably found some gems. Again, I haven't even looked through the women's clothing, the kids' clothing, the, the women's shoes, uh, the books. I've seen people in the store go in there and have carts full of books because they're scanners. But overall, I was happy with the buys. 9 out of 10 because I got some cool things. Uh, I like the environment. The prices are, are definitely reasonable. Some, you know, $6 for a shirt. You know, you're going to see that from time to time. Just just overlook it unless it's some kind of gem or something like that. But overall, I really like the store. And they'll be seeing me and my business in the future. Long day, that's for sure. Sorry, guys, I wasn't able to show you any uh, items that sold. I did sell some items, which I'll show you in, in the next video. Um, went to Mesa, Arizona to uh, go. Anthony had a doctor's appointment. So uh, he went and saw a doctor over there. Everything's okay. Uh, we got some great results. So hopefully he'll be doing uh, better and um, getting over what he's got going on. Uh, again, happy with the thrift results. Hopefully you guys uh, like these videos. I got a lot more planned out there. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the 50 uh, different thrift stores. But I do really do plan on going to a lot more and eventually down the road, traveling out of state and hitting up some, some thrift shops. I love going thrifting. <laughs> I really do. Um, it's fun. It's, you know, you're a treasure junkie. You get the, the, your coffee in you. You go running into the store and you're looking for treasures. It's amazing. Hope you guys are doing great. You're being productive. You're finding treasures. Hopefully you're selling items. You're listing items. You're staying busy. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support here on my channel, the Global Voodoo channel. You guys be great. Till next time I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog over.